Hi, welcome back to Movie Review Mom. I'm the mom and I do the movie reviews. And my goal is to give you the heads up on filmmaking quality and content so that you can make the best decision for you and your family as to whether or not you want to spend time and money watching a specific film. So the specific film that I'm going to share with you today is really special. It's called to what remains. This touching documentary is in theaters on December 10th, 2021, but the nationwide release begins today on December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day. Because the movie is a documentary, it doesn't have the typical movie rating. I might give it a PG-13 only because of content and talk of death and portrayal of uh, war images and that kind of thing. I'll give you some tips for parents here in just a few minutes. The movie itself is one hour and 21 minutes. I'm going to give you an overview in a nutshell, and then I'll point out things I really liked and didn't like, as well as offer tips for parents and themes worth talking about. And another film that I think that you'll really like if you enjoy this one. All right, so let's dive in. No pun intended. To What Remains is the story of Project Recover, a small team of accomplished scientists, oceanographers, archaeologists, historians, researchers, and military veterans who have dedicated their lives to scouring the depths of the ocean and the farthest corners of the earth to search for, recover, and repatriate the remains of more than 80,000 Americans missing in action since World War II. In what one MIA family member aptly described as looking for the smallest needle in the largest haystack, Project Recover team members led by Dr. Pat Scannon comb through military action reports to identify broad swaths of ocean and land where U.S. servicemen were killed over 75 years ago and execute on-site searches involving a combination of technology, sophisticated underwater drones, and painstaking manual labor scuba dives and archeological digs. The team travels to some of the most beautiful tropical locations in the world where unimaginable atrocities once occurred. While the search for a single crash site can require years of effort, the Project Recover team members are fueled by the sense of purpose that comes from identifying the remains of Americans who gave their lives in service and bringing closure to families who had nothing more than a picture on a mantle, vague memories passed down from prior generations, and unanswered questions. In breathtaking imagery filmed over several years and intimate interviews with Project Recover team members and MIA families, To What Remains takes viewers inside this very emotional journey to honor our fallen servicemen from the discovery of wreckage on the seafloor in the South Pacific to the living room of a stunned family in middle America to a well-deserved final resting place at home. This extremely touching documentary is directed by Chris Woods and written by Mark Monroe. This is a very powerful film and it took my breath away and brought many tears to my eyes. In fact, I was very weepy for about a good hour after I watched the movie and just Thinking about it, I'm starting to tear up. To learn more about this impressive organization and get involved with the incredible service to our fallen soldiers, go to projectrecover.org. Now, this is starting to sound like a commercial for the organization, and it's not. This is my movie review, but I was so taken with this film and the message behind it uh, that I instantly donated on their website. And so I hope that you have that kind of a favorable reaction as well. Let me tell you some of the things that I liked. First of all, what a selfless work of love and respect it is to repatriate soldiers one has never known in order to bring closure and peace to families who were looking for answers about their lost loved ones in the war. There's some gorgeous cinematography. All of the shots really are just spectacular. The film focuses on the 200 American planes that were shot down during the Battle of Peleliu in Palau in World War II. We get to see some remarkable film footage from 
World War II, uh, including airplanes actually being shot down in the middle of the ocean. We get to learn about some of the military missions. Former President George Herbert Walker Bush, the dad, went on. Many people, especially younger Americans, probably have no idea what a war hero he really was. And so it was really cool to see that element brought in brought into the documentary. The beautiful musical score perfectly captures feelings of sorrow, devastation, discovery, and triumph. The film also does a really great job of providing various perspectives along this journey, including detailed explanations of the search missions, how they did it, how they researched, interviews, war footage, clips of families and fighter pilots trying to make sense of the stories that now have an ending. Most of the families were not even aware that someone was looking for their loved ones. And again, those moments are just priceless. The greatest generation. Indeed, it's heartbreaking to see the loss of potential lives that could have been lived if this war hadn't have happened. We owe so much to those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country and to protect democracy in the world during World War II. We also get to see interviews with former Marines who flew fighter planes during the war. Now, my stepfather was a Marine. We are actually burying him We are actually burying him today, December 7th, 2021, Pearl Harbor Day. I think he would have been proud and so honored to have been buried on Pearl Harbor Day. My oldest son, it, oof, I'm just getting all teary-eyed. This is going to be a rough day. My oldest son is currently serving in the military, and my heart just breaks for all of the mothers who have lost a son or a daughter in battle. All right, now let me point out the things that I didn't like. Nothing. I absolutely loved this movie. You feel profound sadness for the lives that were lost. It's a very sobering film. And again, it just brought tears to my eyes. Very touching. I don't know that you can watch this movie without having your heart burst. And now for tips for parents, I mentioned that there is talk of death, war footage of fighting and planes crashing. You see some remains of people and certainly more talk of that and the battles and that kind of thing. Uh, young children may not be interested in this, but it would be good for them to learn and to develop a sense of respect for our military and those who are willing to pay the ultimate price to protect freedom and uh, our country. Now, the themes that are represented in the film beautifully are courage, hope, love and loss, unanswered questions, patriotism, sacrifices, family, memories, respect, and the price of war. So it's probably no surprise to you, the movie review mom grade I'm giving this film is an A. I just, again, thought it was so powerful. Whew, I'm still getting teary-eyed <laughs> with this review. Okay, before I give you the recommendation for another film that I really want you to watch, I wanted to share a poem that is shared at the beginning of this film. And then again, later on toward the end of the movie, um, it's called For the Fallen. And it says, they shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Oh. So the movie I want to recommend is actually a documentary that uh, was filmed by Peter Jackson. It's called They Shall Not Grow Old. And I did a movie review of this film immediately when I returned home from the theater. I hadn't written up anything. I just started talking to the camera, uh, which is unusual for me because normally I do try to write notes and be prepared. And so it was just my instant reaction. It's a beautiful documentary and it focuses on the soldiers who fought during World War I. Peter Jackson actually had to invent new technology to colorize very, very old film footage that he had found of soldiers as he tried to tell their story. And yes, this is the Peter Jackson from Lord of the Rings, the 
incredible Lord of the Rings trilogy that I think is a masterpiece. Anyway, definitely check that out. I think you'll get some of the similar feelings of awe, reverence, and respect for those who have gone on before to pay that price to fight for the freedoms that we now enjoy in the world today. All right, I need to go get another good cry. <laughs> it's a fantastic documentary. Both of these are fantastic documentaries. I think that you'll really enjoy them. And and for any of you who are watching my review, who are current or former military, on behalf of a grateful nation, thank you so much for your service. Bye for now.